Uh, hey everyone, you know last week Hugh Jackman lovingly asked the Academy to not vote for our song Good Afternoon in the Best Song category and uh, well, I'm not, I'm not going to uh, I'm not going to stoop to that level. I'm going to rise to the uh, rise to the occasion. I'm rise above it all, and I'm going to say right now that I loved Hugh's performance in the Sun. Um, there's zero sarcasm here, no wink, wink, nudge, nudge. Uh, but Hugh's performance as a son struggling with his relationship with his dad uh, and his father—it's literally one of the best of his entire career, and his career is very impressive already. So he's already nominated for a Golden Globe. Um, so I humbly submit Hugh uh, for your consideration. Okay. Wolverine and Deadpool. Who's he kidding? Not in your life, chappy. Welcome back, everyone. It's Charlie. This will be my new Deadpool 3 video for the Ryan Reynolds reaction video. Obviously teasing the movie just a little bit and the actual title of the movie, so we'll break it all down because they've both been posting a couple of videos clowning on each other, just making it seem like they're just regular reaction videos when really they're actually trying to promote the movie. They're doing that thing where they just make fun of each other but also promote the movie at the same time. If you're brand new to the channel, be sure to subscribe to get all the videos because they'll be posting videos like this all year long just to promote the movie outside of just like the regular trailers that they release for the film. But this is Ryan Reynolds posting his reaction to Hugh Jackman's video a couple weeks ago making fun of him asking the Academy not to nominate his song from the spirited movie that he just released during Christmas, like his Christmas movie with Will Ferrell for an award. Because outside of his acting and playing Wolverine in all the Marvel movies, Hugh Jackman is most known for his Broadway, his performing, singing, and dancing. So he's really, really good at singing and dancing. And Ryan Reynolds just started doing that in the Spirited Movie. Like, it was his first time doing a song and dance number. Oh, oh that's... Oh, he's dead. Yeah, he's definitely... Oh, that, no, no, he's fine. He's good. Well, he's, well none of us real anyway. Ryan Reynolds getting a nomination in the best song category would make the next year of my life insufferable it would i mean i have to spend a year with him shooting wolverine and deadpool and it, uh, trust me it would be impossible it'd be a problem so but just to recap love spirited love will love octavia love the song good afternoon love benj and justin but please please from the bottom of my, of my heart do not validate ryan reynolds in this way please so Hugh Jackman was just kind of clowning on him for being a really crappy song and dance man. And Ryan Reynolds just jokingly posted this video as a reaction to that, trying to high road him, making him seem like a butthole for clowning on him for being a bad singer. And Hugh Jackman not wanting to put up with Ryan Reynolds celebrating his nomination, like throwing it in his face all year long while they were filming Deadpool 3 together. Which at the time, when Hugh Jackman posted his video clowning on him, he referred to the movie as Wolverine and Deadpool. So a lot of people thought that that might be the title of the film. I mean, I have to spend a year with him shooting Wolverine and Deadpool. Wolverine and Deadpool. Who's he kidding? Not in your life, chappy. In the sly teaser at the end of Ryan Reynolds' video here where he pretends like he accidentally left the camera on and revealed how pissed off he was, throwing shade at the title, Not on your life, chappy. Also calling it Wolverine and Deadpool. The reason why he calls Hugh Jackman chappy, if you forgot, Hugh Jackman was in the chappy movie with Sigourney Weaver. It was something else. He had quite the haircut in that. He was also using his real Australian accent. Let's just say the chappy movie did not perform as good as some of his other films. So Ryan Reynolds was just making fun of him under his breath a little, calling out one of his worst movies. They do that to each other all the time. Like they make fun of each other's other movies, non-Marvel movies all the time. But because both of them refer to the movie as Wolverine and Deadpool, that does make you wonder if that is the official title of Deadpool 3, or if Ryan Reynolds' reaction post means that they're actually going to call it Deadpool and Wolverine. Like, there's no way he's going to let them call it Wolverine and Deadpool. Like, no way Wolverine gets to put his name first in the title. What they'll probably do to confirm the actual title is they'll reveal some kind of teaser poster with a logo card like they did in the first teaser trailer they released, this one, with Wolverine's claws slashing through Deadpool's symbol as a way of teasing the actual plot of the movie and the actual title itself. Here's how they're explaining Hugh Jackman's Wolverine in the movie, as well as pulling off a bunch of the Fox Marvel movie cameos with older actors coming back to play their characters again, like OG Fantastic Four actors, more classic X-Men actors coming back, the movie is meant to be a direct continuation of the events of Deadpool 2, where Deadpool ended the movie taking Cable's time travel device, visiting several points in his timeline as well as other timelines, 
changing the past, like killing a variant from his own timeline, the original weird looking version of Deadpool in Wolverine Origins. He killed a version of himself in another timeline before he made the Green Lantern movie. He messed with baby Hitler. And they're just going to say that he continued messing with timelines in the Fox Marvel universe until eventually he tries to save a younger Wolverine from dying earlier in his timeline, like before the events of the Logan movie. But one day your old pal Wade's going to ask you to get back in the saddle again. And when he does, say yes. And that's how Hugh Jackman's Wolverine becomes part of the plot. When they first meet, they fight like Deadpool versus Wolverine or Wolverine versus Deadpool, however you think about it. Hugh Jackman's been revealing the plot, just joking about how his Wolverine can't stand Deadpool, as you would expect. They talked about this in their big teaser video last year, but part of the joke of the characters, like the comedy of a Deadpool movie with Wolverine, is that both of them have crazy healing factors, so they would just be able to lay into each other, chopping every bit of their bodies off and healing it almost instantly, so the fight would just go on forever. Eventually, the TVA detects all the changes that Deadpool is making to the timelines. He's causing so much havoc, destroying the timelines. The TVA, Mobius, Miss Minutes come after him, and that's how they get involved in the plot. That's how they explain this is a Marvel movie, because those are core Marvel characters now in the MCU. I don't know if Tom Hiddleston's Loki will also have a cameo in the movie, because they're supposed to have so many different cameos in the movie. But while Deadpool is jumping around in his timelines, that's how they feature a lot of the cameos from the old Fox Marvel movies. Like, they're supposed to have cameos from the original Fantastic Four movies. I don't know which characters are supposed to come back right now. There have been rumors about Chris Evans coming back as his Johnny Storm. He said previously he would love to do that. It's only coming back as Captain America that he's kind of reticent about. They were going to have Fantastic Four cameos in Deadpool 2, but it was the original version of the movie back when Tim Miller was still directing it, and it would have been the Fantastic Four characters from the newer reboot version. And when Hugh Jackman says they're not touching the events of the Logan movie because they're jumping around timelines, what he's implying is they're just going to say that the events of the Logan movie took place in a distant future of an alternate timeline. And they'll be saying that Deadpool is jumping around in a timeline that's just specific to the Fox Marvel Universe with a bunch of subtle variations in minor timelines within it. So that's how they explain the original Deadpool here and the newer Deadpool, the old man Logan Wolverine are all from the same Fox Marvel Universe, but within that they come from different timelines. But that's why I've been making jokes about Deadpool kills the Fox Marvel Universe because Kevin Feige recasting a lot of the X-Men, the Fantastic Four characters inside the MCU. So what better way to give the Fox Marvel movies a big send off and honor them and make fun of them a lot. Canonizing them through the multiverse just like they did with Tobey Maguire's Spider-Man movies, Andrew Garfield's Amazing Spider-Man movies, and Spider-Man No Way Home. And then proceed to do a version of Deadpool kills the Marvel Universe but just have him destroy or mess with the Fox Marvel Universe. I've done a couple videos about how Deadpool 3 is going to be a huge crossover with the Loki series because the TVA, Mobius, and Miss Minutes are going to be big characters in the movie. Really hoping Deadpool helps Mobius get that jet ski. The funny joke about everybody doing these song and dance numbers, musical performances, is that Hugh Jackman actually did Wolverine the musical several years ago when he was promoting the Les Mis movie because he uses the theme from Les Mis. Who am I? And talk about super deep cuts. One of the first jobs I ever had working on YouTube years ago was for a channel called Barely Political, which they rebranded to Key of Awesome several years ago. Way back around 2008, 2009, when I was working for them on their video shoots, we did a Wolverine musical parody with Mark Douglas here, who's in charge of the channel. Because one of their big claims to fame was the Key of Awesome parody series, and he was the lead of all those series. They went on a long-term hiatus a couple years ago, but the funny thing is, is that we did that Wolverine musical parody years before Hugh Jackman did his version. I'll chop apart that redwood tree and slice the wings off of a bee. I'm not a circus freak, I'm wolf. This is Eric Beck from Indie Mogul with Mark Douglas there because at the time this video was made, we were part of a company called Next New Networks that eventually got bought out by YouTube. So everybody went to work for YouTube, the actual company. But at the time, we had a bunch of different channels making these kinds of videos all the time. And it was just a real fun way to get into YouTube production behind the camera. I only appeared on camera in a couple of the videos on different channels because I wasn't trained as an actor. So like it was my very first time actually being on camera. But if you've been subscribed to my channel since I started it way back in like 2012, 2013, I've talked about this a couple times. Maybe you actually saw some of those original videos back in 2008, 2009, or just remember watching them when they originally posted. The late 2000s was just like a really cool period in real world YouTube history because so much was going on and my own history working on YouTube doing various jobs before I actually started my own channel. 
Everyone let me know in the comments though, do you want them to call Deadpool 3 Wolverine and Deadpool or do you think the title is just Deadpool and Wolverine? They'll be posting videos like this all year long so of course I'll do more Deadpool 3 videos soon. Everyone click here for my Ant-Man and the Wasp Quantumania trailer video and easter eggs and click here to learn how the 10 rings of power from the Shang-Chi movie are connected to Kang the Conqueror. Thank you so much for watching, everyone stay safe, I'll see you guys in the next one.